when we had last left Harrier Dubois. He and Lieutenant Kim Kitsuragi were wrapping up a lot of business around Martinez. Yes, they finished speaking with the tarp tent team. Indeed, it was Noid who was the last on their list. And then finally, did they go and find the weird tape that Harry had a shiver of a clue about that was inside of a hawthorn tree, and they brought it over to the pawn shop owner who fixed it up for them, amazingly enough, and then proceeded to bring that back to the tarp tent team. However, although it did improve the anodic music that they were playing, there was something missing still. Something still remained to be discovered. Yes, though that would have to wait until later. For now, they returned back to the cryptozoologist and the cryptozoologist's wife, who was also a cryptozoologist, to be quite fair, um, and tried to learn more about weird shit going on, but didn't really find what they did seek. Instead, they learned about Harry's new bolo tie. That was kind of neat. <laughs> and now, finally, they returned the body. Yes, Harry asked. Kim Kitsuragi to return the body for processing back to the RCM. Now, it was time to turn in for the night. This is Disco Elysium. Welcome back. Let's do it. Let's go snooze, huh? Sule Ram, Sule Ram. Or should we talk to this lady now that it's laid out? The old lady had something new to say when it was late. Let's see. Do you have anything new? Aye, the sea's gonna calm down soon. I can feel it. The wind is turning southeast. What's on your mind, officer? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Look, we can bring all this up. We should bring this up, though, with the lieutenant, right? And see what he has to say. All right. Let's see. Be seeing you. Let's head on out of here. Good, good, good. Let's try in here. Do we think we're going to get another weird, freaky dream? God, I hope so. It's getting cold this late in the night. Time to call it a day. Enter the shack. There we are. Good, good, good. We probably still have options to, like, look around inside, though, right? You know, we could shave our chops off. I don't want to do that, though. All right. Look. This little unit here, right? Got our mirror as well. Anything of value in the mirror now? Let's see. Nope, just me. Nothing of value there. All right. Let's see, anything else real quick here that we need to look at? Make Van Eek's jam harder core. Right. Help Egghead with the beat. This may take a while. Wow, I'm surprised that we already have another one of these things. It's like, it may take a while. When we're, like, on the precipice of Thursday, right? Huh. Sing signs with Noid. Get a cell to talk about her associates. Which it seems like a lot of stuff with them will unravel as we enter the church, right? All right. Time to snooze and lose, baby. The bed is comforting, if a bit run down. Still, you've earned a rest. Go to sleep. Oh, there we go. I sleep with my pry bar. Across the room, the heating system hums its soft lullaby. The mattress feels soft and sheets warm. It only takes you moments for the world to fall away. Ellipses. Thoughts, baby. A million little lights in the dark. You're one fine instrument, brava. All those faces and all those names all that laughter and screaming and scheming around. Every corner and every street. Recorded in you forever on Ferrite. Hmm. Spinning in eternity. Spinning on empty. Spinning, spinning. Tell me, am I dreaming? Hmm. Spinning on empty. On and on it goes. For untold hours. At the disco where you first asked her to dance. Rising. 
rising above the dark curvature, the great wingspan of sleep studded with stars. Gosh, I really cannot help but think of our, like, pale theory, right? I mean, why else would they reveal the pale? I mean, it may not play a big point here, right? Fuck, maybe not even in this game, right? Who can say? Maybe it more sets up like a backdrop for like a motivation of another character than our own. But right now, we have been introduced to the concept of the pale, but it hasn't had a big um, narrative use yet, right? It's Chekhov's uh, existential crisis or something like that. But I cannot shake the feeling that maybe we really have been through it, but I don't know. For me, the question is like how and why. Right? How? Because we're kind of in the middle of the Isola. Why? Because, I mean, we were in the middle of solving the case. Maybe we're tracking someone down. I don't know. Yeah, I have no idea why we would be, why we would have gone into it in the first place. Or maybe it was just out of self-hate or to forget or something, or maybe to unforget. Right? Which is what I was getting at here with how we keep um, lingering back on our ex-wife and all of that. Like, what if this was years and years ago when we broke up with her? What if... Here's a hot take. What if the breakup with our ex-wife... What if we were, we were like a family man or someone who, was, who had a very different career goal in mind and all of that? And we broke up and the breakup led to us becoming a member of the RCM, becoming a cop, right? And what if going through the pale has, like, reconfigured our mind to re-experience the trauma of the past as if it were currently going on or were a lot more recent, right? Because that's one of the big defining features of the pale is that it, um, it fucks with time and everything, really, right? Anyway, that's, so far, that's, like, my hot take theory. But, like I said, I don't really have a good reason as for why or how, right? Okay. Let's continue here. Behold, there are millions of them down there. The first time, the last time, the smoke in her mouth, the potted flowers, the faces turning, changing. What is it? It's the world, Harry boy. And you're made of it. Every day you're out there, you make more of yourself from it. I'm afraid you can't be unmade now. You can never forget this shit. The colors, the voices, the rain, the snow. I don't want to. It's beautiful. The endless visions erase them. I don't want to. It's beautiful. Beautiful. It's stuck on loop. Whirling. Spitting out words and images. You're the son of the world again. Harrister. A ceaseless agent. Picking up litter and old newspapers. Collecting your little bubblegum wrappers and idiotic picture postcards. Meaningless, meaningless keepsakes. Yo, is this... Yeah, you're the son of the world again. So, like, a kid, right? We're totally, like, re-experiencing our past. This has totally got to be influenced from the pale, right? And its ability to, like, fuck with people's brains as they pass through it. Hmm. Okay, continue. Reading your awful letters and recalling things, aren't you? The endless names of the world. An address book you are. The map of a city. That's right. I am an agent of the world. But what if I want to be the agent of nothing? Hmm. I am an agent of the world. You'll go insane if you keep going like this. One more day, and you'll be in the loony bin. 
I just know you will. And for what, brother man? Hmm. Our ancient reptilian brain really seems like, especially because when we first had like the visceral dream where we were speaking to ourselves as the hanged man and it took on this voice, which may well be our voice, right? But the very least, our ancient reptilian brain seems like the personification of like our case of depression, right? It's always trying to beat the shit out of us, right? And make us drum up like these old shitty memories that make us just sad as shit. And the limbic system feels almost like the personification of the fear of all of that, right? The anxiety. All right, continue. Solving your little crossword puzzles, doing your tasks, crossing names off your lists, trying to become some sort of world detector. It won't make it okay. It won't put smoke back in her mouth. Hmm. Why? Because only love can break your heart. Huh. Do you think maybe that's one of the songs that we're going to sing? Or the song? Feel the pillow under your cheek. Beep, beep, beep. The alarm is ringing, Harry. The disco circus goes on and on. You barely slept three hours last night. Hmm. Volition. Easy success. You can do it. It's nothing. Do it for the city. Go. Shivers. Medium success. Do it for the wind. Open your eyes. <sighs> so not another visceral dream, but just like a dream that we had similar to the one night prior. Ugh, man. Did we sleep in the chair, actually, or what? Now, this is probably just us doing our morning wake-up routine. Alright. Here we are. Another day. Let's see. Still got four points. Rare and to go. Okay. Out this way. Equip a flashlight in low-light areas. Do we think the lieutenant will meet us here? He said he would, but this is kind of a special night. Oh, yep, there he is. Hey! Lieutenant, how did the body thing go? Yes. No? Nothing? Okay. Leave. Fair enough. Alright. Holy shit. Now what should we check on? Should we go on over to... Hmm. We have a lot of stuff that we could do. Right? A lot of shit up and over in this area. Right? We could check out the church immediately. Right? Let's see. Should we equip our bag? We probably should. We may have been missing some shit now that I think of it. Good lord, I completely forgot about that. That we actually need to have it equipped in order to see tear. Alright. Let's see. So over here... This is... I don't know if we've gone this far over here. Have we? Yeah, we haven't. Look, there's some lootable lootables. It's whatever this section of building is. Can we get up there? Oh, we can. Oh, we loop around this way? Okay. Let's look at it real quick. Yeah, because we were over here talking to them. Oh shit, how do we how do we get here? Oh look, there's a lootable right there. Oh, around the back. We have an int thought. This section of the coast hasn't been used in decades. A little bit of money. Result of the bombs. Alright, over here. Yeah, one of the traps. Right. By the boathouses. There's nothing else to do with the traps at this time, right? Okay. Let's grab some more of this. And then we'll head up north along the coast. The boathouse is shoddily constructed. A strong breeze might blow it over. Okay. Over here. If anything, I'm surprised that, um... These buildings survived the shellings as well as they did, right? Like, they didn't get completely obliterated. There's no, like, huge crater or whatever. Ancient paint is peeling off the roof of this shaded bench, covered in rust. Over here. Oh, is this another place where we could potentially, like, do something? What's this say? Perception. Sight. 
A scattering of bullet holes is spread across the cracked wall, reaching from one corner to the other. The music changed when we looked at this. Look, Kim. Even more bullet holes. Something's definitely gone down here. Hmm. Correct. The lieutenant examines the wall closely. The density of the bullets is unusual, even in a general average bullet hole frequency in Martinez's sense. Grim affairs. Meaning, this is a lot of bullet holes. He brushes the wall with his hand. Looks like fully automatic rifle fire. Something you don't see these days. Why not? The manufacturing and sale of automatic rifles was curtailed after the revolution. The destructive power of such tools proved to be too much. We need to retain some humanity in this world. Interesting. It was the revolution that made them finally decide, mm, maybe we don't want this. Huh. Okay. Visual calculus. Ooh, shit. Wow, look. Visual calculus of one only, but we have a plus one bullet holes on the plaza, plus one bullet holes in the backyard, plus one know about the revolution, plus one know about Feld Electrical. Hmm. Can we buff our visual calc with anything? Let's see, are we currently reducing it? No, we are not. But do we have any clothing that might buff it up? Let's see, drama, no, logic, conceptualization, now we want vis, vis calc. Oh, here. Our commander's jacket. Okay. There we go. That actually gives us visual calculus. Okay, drama. Oh, these glasses. There we go. All right. Esprit de corps, drama. Okay, good. Let's give it a shot now. All right, wow, 42% chance. Okay, I'll take that. We could even smoke if we wanted to. Should we smoke? Hmm. I'm not sure if this is that important to me, though, to burn a smoke. Literally. All right. Visual Calculus Heroic 15. Why this many bullet holes? Failure. Visual Calculus Heroic Failure. Unable to piece together the big picture just now. There's a hole in the hypothesis. I'm dumb. Oh, I lost some morale for that. Okay. <laughs> Perception sight. The scattering of bullet holes looks like one giant smiling mouth. Smiling its deadly smile. Laughing at you and the world and the living. Walk away. Well, shit. All right. Let's see. Let's re-equip our other shit. Love that shivers. And we may as well put on our other... Glasses here for savoir faire? No. For empathy, yes. All the stats I like. Okay. Let's see over here. What have we got? Some goodies inside of this. Oh, we cross right here. Oh, all right. Oh, shit. Plastic tear. Okay. Here, let's go back over to this. Can I actually go on the other side of this fence? No, I think we examine this booth from this side, huh? An old ticket taker booth. No longer in operation. A psyche thought. People paid money to park here? No one would pay now. This one on the gate. The sign says, Entree interdit, or interdi. I don't know. I don't think you, you would pronounce it dight, right? Oh look, a shitload of terror. A little bit there as well. Oh no, that's just booze. Potent Pilsner. Don't I already have some? Don't I already have a bottle of Potent Pilsner? No, I don't. Oh, maybe I could have bought it from uh, what's his butt over there. Could be. All right, let's take this money. Good. More shit over here. The door is not only barred shut, it is inaccessible. All right, this. Found Pippo 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 Pip Pippo 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 Plus two logic. What is this? Minus one perception. What what is a Pippo? I have no idea what this is. 
I can't even discern what it is from the image here. What? Fallen Pippo Pippo. Peepo Pippo. Pippo Peepo. Peephole? No. <laughs> Plus two logic. Ultimate. Peak. Focus. Minus one perception. Eyes on the road. The small wire framing inside this futuristic looking fallen Pippo hat gives it the aerodynamic shape of a swoop skier's helmet, but none of its protective qualities. Covers the wearer's ears and eyebrows to bring down the drag coefficient. What? It goes on my head? Oh, it's one of these hats! What do you, what do you even call it? I guess you call it a Pippo. I never knew that. Huh. I always thought of them as like weird toboggans, or I guess beanies, right? Okay. Well, do I want that? Huh. Which one do I prefer? Hmm. Let's not bring down our perception, because we have that ship buffing up our perception a fair bit, right? Well, it only brings it down to four, and this buffs our logic up to three. Ay, ay, ay. What would I want? Whereas this, the bum hat, what does it give me? Reaction speed? Yeah, my reaction speed is dog shit. You know what? We may as well have the logic up to three, right? We're not missing too much by having reaction speed at two, I feel like. Okay. That said, I hate this look. I so much more prefer the, this look, right? Okay. Hey, you know what? I didn't even ever put on the racist hat. Or the insensitive hat. Not openly racist, but definitely pretty insensitive. <laughs> right? Slightly racist. Okay, let's put on this. There we are. Good. Alright. Part of me kind of wishes that there was like a... <laughs> a transmog system in this game. To where I could just have on... Harry's like official canonical uniform for it, because I do really like his, like, canonical outfit. Right? The green disco-ass blazer and all that shit. Okay. Let's go on over here. Good. Alright. Neat. A little bit of money here, right? We should probably buy the, what do you call it, later today, right? Not, like, l later in this video, right? But later in Thursday, right? Okay. Look, is this some terror I can grab up? No. At least not at the moment. I do wonder if, like, perception influences how much you can discover and uncover, right? Oh, you know what? We still haven't found a way into the Feld building, have we? Yeah, how do we get in here? Hmm. Because clearly we, we can get rooftop access in some way. Now look at that. How do I go in? I have no idea. There must be, like, a weird access point from somewhere. Oh, look. I never looted this? Maybe it keeps getting filled up every fucking day. Maybe people just throw shit in there. Okay. Let's see. Did the body disappear yet? Quite curious. Yep. They came and collected the bod. Alright. Anything else here? No. Alright, leave. Sad shit. Everywhere we look. Let's check out the church. Maybe there will be something sad in there as well. <laughs> oh look! Hey, more woot loot! Jeez, I'm just missing shit left and right. Or maybe this was because I didn't have my, uh, my freak bag, right? Alright. Over here. Good. Sorry, Lieutenant, you know how it is. I like to get my run in. <laughs> okay. Here we go. The church. Right? Yeah. Just church. Ecclesiastes? Ecclesiastes? I have no idea. All right. Are these trees that they've painted on it? I think so. All right. Hello! Where- is there a crab man in here? Church doors. Heavy wooden doors, more than twice your height, stand shut in front of you. The rectangular, sea-worn ornamentation appears in stark contrast to the padlock, carelessly drilled into the wood. Open the padlock with the key. The lock turns easily. You hear a click as the shackle pops open. Shivers. Challenging success. 
feels like electricity and a very small piece of nothingness. Let's go. The lieutenant nods at you. Pull on the doors. Inland Empire, easy success. As you do, you hear and... What? You hear and the echo of the doomed commercial area. It's black halls and dusty machines. Then the feeling passes. Oh, the doomed commercial area has spread its influence over here, I see. A great whoosh of air rushes into the dark innards of the church, as though rushing to fill a great vacuum in the heart of the city. Ooh. Maybe we'll have a boss battle in here with a crab man. <laughs> oh my god! Whoa! Holy shit, this place is wild! Okay. This is in here? Holy fuck! Alright. What have we got here? A psyche unit. A strange stillness fills you as you look ahead. You should walk here, not run. Oh, okay. Fair enough. We will. Look, there's some, like, religious figure, I guess, carved into the pillar here, right? The column, the support column or whatever. What's this? More of the forked lightning pattern you saw outside. Right, that I thought were trees. Okay. What's this? This grotesque wooden figure looks half-finished. Feels like it's trying to become one with the church. Oh, this music is so cool. What am I saying? All of the music has been so cool. <laughs> okay. Big board here? Oh shit. Huh. They're spinning. Spinning, spinning. On empty. The blackboard is filled with complex equations. They look recent. Something to do with radio's frequencies? Oh, look at this. This looks gorgeous. What are these little units here? Alright. We've got this. Motorix. Perception. Hearing. The silence in this part of the church. It's almost palpable. All the shifting matter and shuffling of living things is gone. Nothing seems to exist beyond the church anymore. Oh, maybe if you were to stand in just the right spot, even your footsteps would be completely silent. Wait, I think I still hear something. I did hear something. Was it the cold Amamadakwa? Ooh, now I hear completely nothing. Perception hearing. And then it's gone. Almost all of it, but for the faintest of hums. You can hardly hear your own breathing. Yell as loud as you can. Stomp your feet and clap your hands. Let's yell. Your voice is barely audible. Not a howl, but the softest of whimpers. Half-light, medium success. It's unnerving. Stomp your feet and clap your hands. You produce a few muffled thumps, after which the silence feel, feels even more total, somehow. Turn to Kim. What's happening? The lieutenant points to his ears and shakes his head. Then he leans closer. Are these things actually, like, sucking up, like, audio somehow? Like, we're standing in the epicenter of these, uh, two, four, six, six plates? Huh. Can you hear anything? Almost nothing. It's beginning to worry me. Not really, but it's extraordinary. I've never experienced anything like this. Can't hear shit! <laughs> Not really, but it's extraordinary. I've never experienced anything like this. I wonder why the church was built with such strange acoustics. Empathy, easy success. His detached tone conceals how uncomfortable he is. Hey, what if it's something paranatural? It's probably nothing, just our imagination. Whatever it is, it's definitely real. 
Something odd is happening around us. Oh, I like this one even more. It's so romanticized, right? Whatever it is, it's definitely real. Something odd is happening around us. The lieutenant doesn't reply, but you can sense him tense up next to you. Look up into the bell tower. Perception sight. The orderly rows of ceiling panels become barely visible, then disappear completely in the darkness of the tower overhead. Ooh, we're not too good at this. Perception sight challenging 12. Try to see beyond the shadows. We only get one chance at it. Let's roll. No dice. Still, happy to fail it, nonetheless. Because we're not exactly, like I said, built for motoric stuff. Ooh, look. Yeah, there's another one of these things. Look at this. What's up with this thing? Huh. Perception sight challenging failure. Just darkness without end. It makes your head spin. What's the darkness like? Try to make out something, anything. Blink. Hmm. Both of these two first ones are great. What's the darkness like? Filled with vague shapes of woodwork. The sense of a great height. Inland Empire challenging success. It's like you see your own face reflected back at you in the vanishing geometry. A strange alien image that's supposed to be you. Try to make out something, anything. Perception sight. There's nothing. You're dizzy and disoriented as you see dark and more dark rising. Officer, what are you looking at? He follows your gaze, attempting to see whatever it is you are seeing. Dude, what is this thing? This is like some kind of reverse sonic amplifier or whatever, right? This is doing something here. All right, blink. Oh. Oh my god, the crab man! What the fuck? It's the fucking crab man! The crab man is real! <laughs> Their name is Tiago? Tiago? Ty Tygo? I'm going with Tiago. You see something hanging from the rafters, looking straight at you with dark eyes. Crab man. Ooh. They're naked. Maybe it's possible to talk to it. What the fuck, dude? <gasps> Hearing has come back. Yo, this is a fucking crab man. I'm quick saving. <laughs> What's this? The bowl is filled with water. A live wire runs directly into it. Right, we heard about this. Motorix. Do these wires work as contact microphones? And if we stand right here, right? It should go silent at one of these points. Or maybe it's only context sensitive. Where was it? It was like at the complete epicenter of all this. All right, let's talk to this crab man. Crab man, ho there. Tiago, is that a man? Looks more like a part of the carpentry of the building came alive and is now studying you intently. Oh shit, like one of the carvings in the supports. Reaction speed, easy success. The Crab Man! Hey, who's there? This is the police. Show yourself. Say nothing. Be quiet for now. Um, uh, are you the Crab Man? Let's say that. <laughs> The man leans forward a little, fixing you with a steady, unreadable gaze, then speaks. I bet your alcohol use has made you into a scared little pussy, Holmes. But don't worry. Everything's gonna be alright. You've come to the right place. Whoa. We haven't heard anyone in this world yet with an accent like this. Right? No, haven't we? I think we may have. Huh. 
Okay. The right place for what? What are you doing here? The right place for what? Here you can receive the mother's love. And when you're ready, she will take your hand and lift you out of the despair at the bottom of the bottle. Yo, he knows about me. Did he see me when I was fucked up? This man is obviously a habitual narcotics user. Do we really need to question him? The lieutenant whispers to you quietly. Esprit de corps, easy success. I'm put off by this religious stuff, he thinks. And maybe the ceiling climbing too. It's all very hard to square with the lieutenant's own view of reality. Electrochemistry, easy success. Right, because this is the weirdest shit has gotten. And the lieutenant is a very, like, grounded man, right? If anything, good for us, right? Because we're the opposite of a very grounded man. Electrochemistry, easy success. Hey, and what was that about the bottle again? You haven't even drank that much lately. Lay off it already, sheesh. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I guess I have a bit of a problem. And it's been getting out of hand lately. But I'm a policeman. I need to talk to you about police things. I don't know anything about alcohol use. Oh, hell no. Run away. <laughs> All right. Now let's talk to this weird shit. Let's get fucking weird, right? Our character is fucking weird. All right. Yeah, I guess I have a bit of a problem. And it's been getting out of hand lately, but... This does good, eh? I see deep inside you. Your body and spirit are suffering greatly from overindulgence, and you don't even know it. Great. More patronizing. So original. Oh, I'm very in touch with my suffering. <laughs> How do you know what I'm feeling? I'm actually here on behalf of some young people looking to establish a nightclub. Let's go with this. Oh, I'm very in touch with my suffering. Not all of it. I was like you once. You don't know all the havoc every know is wreaking on your mind and your spirit. Necesitas parar, Romy. You know, actually, since we're here, you may want to pay attention to what the ceiling climber is saying. <laughs> he sees this as a moment to teach me something. <laughs> Volition, medium success. If the lieutenant agrees, then maybe, just maybe, you should pay attention? Electrochemistry, medium success. Look at these crazies. What is this? A fucking intervention? <laughs> Horrific ne necktie. Fuck you, crab man. You don't tell us what to do. Tell him. For some reason, I feel like you have a point there. Adjust your tie. Who do you think you are? Some crazy guy under the roof? What is this shit? You know, alcohol is central to my identity. If I wouldn't drink, I just wouldn't be me. This is stupid. I don't even know what this is. That's all well and good, but we need to talk about the unlicensed occupation of ecclesiastic property. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe this is maybe this is a good point for our character to have like a moment, right? Huh. I don't want to adjust my tie and do that cuz that seems too extreme. If anything, I'm down for this being a moment for my character to, like, be like, yeah, maybe I should. We're, ex we're seeing some real weird shit right now. Maybe this is it. <laughs> hmm. But let's go with this. Right? You know, alcohol is central to my identity. If I wouldn't drink, I just wouldn't be me. The grave's coming for your little identity sooner than you think, Holmes. You sure you're ready? The mother could set you free from all that shit. He shakes his head sadly. His words echo in the cold air of the church. This is the church of the Mother of Silence. You are welcome here. He sways gently on the beams, waiting for you to take it all in. Inland Empire, easy success. This Mother of Silence sounds like a serious player. You might want to be careful until you find out what you're dealing with. I'm going to ask you again. Are you the crap man? <laughs> Some ravers want to turn this place into a nightclub. Do you know where the other spooker is? Point at the strange machines around you. 
Okay, then. Thanks. Leave. Hmm. Let's see. I think we can just exhaust all these, right? I'm gonna ask you again. Are you the crab man? We're not going to do his voice, right? <laughs> that seems like a racist thing to do. <laughs> Never know myself to be a crab, but that's the name you've got for me. I won't stop you from using it. To be fair, it's really more like a spider. If you're not a crab, then what are you? Sorry, you just weren't moving like a human. Hey, it's your neighbors who came up with the name, not me. If you're not a crab, then what are you? He considers this for a moment. I always thought of myself of something more like a flame flickering along the rafters and beams. He pauses. It may be that I gotta work on my technique. What were you before you became a crab man? I was in a gangway, but my memories of that time are fading. Most of them are already gone. Shake your head. So many people losing their memory. A certain portent of doom. I lost my memory too, and it haunts me. I lost my memory too, but I like it. It's like I get to create a whole new me. Start again from scratch. So you used to be in a gang, but you don't really remember it? Sounds convenient. Hmm. Let's go with this. Shake your head. It does seem like a certain portent of doom. Nah, I say. It's not like that. Best thing that could happen to you. Losing your memory. Do you remember your name, sir? Tiago is my name. But those syllables don't mean much to me these days. A name isn't just your identity but also, so to speak, your place among your fellows, your place in the world. I ain't got no use for such a place anymore. My name's Harry. Extend your hand for a greeting. My name sets me apart from my fellows. How often do you meet a Raphael Ambrosius Custo? My name's Harrier Dubois, and my place in the world is Lieutenant W. Frieder. I don't do names either. Names are out. I don't care what mine is. Hmm. My name's Harry. Extend your hand. That's just the thing, Holmes. None of that matters. He ignores your hand, his limbs a mere shadow before the ceiling. What are you doing here? This is a special place. There's a perforation in the world up there way out into nothingness. He nods toward the ceiling. This church was built around it for purposes of veneration. I circle it, nurtured by the silence, bestowed by the mother. One of these days, I'll be pure enough to go drink from it directly. Who's this mother of silence you keep talking about? What will happen once you drink from this perforation? I still don't understand what you're doing in the church. Right, I had other questions. I think we can exhaust all, all of these. Who's this mother of silence you keep talking about? Oh, that's no simple question, S.A. She is one who can't be painted or sculpted. She is a cavity in the dark beyond sense. She saved me, but I couldn't describe her to you. No one can, Holmes, and no one ever will. Electrochemistry medium success. His adoration is beyond sexual. This cavity is something that no human form has. What will happen once you drink from this perforation? I will be incinerated, but not destroyed. Finally at one with the state of the world before reality began. You sure you didn't just switch one drug for another? It's not like that at all, man. It's just faith and joyful service. Faith is a kind of drug. Hey, not judging. I've got drug problems myself. I guess you have a point. Let's agree to disagree. I was being insensitive. Sorry, let's move on. Hey, not judging. I've got a drug problem myself. I can see. 
and it saddens me, but devotion can save you. It saved me. Let's go with this. I was being insensitive. Sorry. Let's move on. No worries, man. I know this shit takes time. I still don't understand what you're doing in the church. I'm a Seraph Holmes. I sing the mother's glory. Can you sing for me? Sing for me something. It doesn't really make sense for you to sing if she's the mother of silence. Not Singing is good. We should all sing a bit more. Hey, can you sing for me? I ain't from no Marietti, if that's what you're thinking. And the song I sing is silent as the mother. How did you even find this place? This church? Hard to say. I think I did some construction work here, back when I still had material worries. Up there, I realized what the true purpose of the church was. Been spending a lot of time here ever since. The past is nothing to me now, eh? It didn't belong to me. Right, I had other questions. The sinewy figure, figure lingers on the wooden beams, blending into the shadows. You've been here a long time. Do you know why the church was abandoned? Police raid a while back. He responds, his voice suddenly flat. Did you witness it? Not really. Or at least I don't remember much of it anymore. The mother's love has done its job. That's what's so great about the mother. It lets you forget about everything. Huh. Well, some ravers want to turn this place into a nightclub. The ones in the tent outside, right? I seen them. Guessing they're the ones who call me a crab? Probably scared of me. Wait, do they have reason to be scared? Nah, man. They look pretty funny. And I don't harm no one anymore anyway. Half-Light medium success. Though he used to. A long time ago. Huh. So what do you think? About the nightclub, that is. What? Why not? They wouldn't bother me none. I'm usually way up there, imbibing. Ain't no music on earth that can reach where I go. Might even be nice to have some company. Empathy, easy success. He said that in spite of himself. He's more attached to the human than he'd like to think. Huh. Okay. So he doesn't mind if they set up shop here. Do you know where the other spooker is? Point at the strange machines around you. Other spooker? Oh. oh Jesus, I don't... <laughs> I, I didn't take Spanish class. I took French class and failed it. Let's see. Oh. Esa villete, or villita muy estudiosa. He laughs. Dunno, Holmes. Wait. So there is another person living in the church? And it's a... Vijita? Viejita? I think? No, I just call her Viejita. Because of her clothes. See, she's actually quite young. He scratches his head. Or maybe not that young. Age is just one of the many masks we wear. Right, we heard about that there's someone who comes here. A girl who likes to wear old woman's clothing, right? And you don't know where she is? That's what I said, Holmes. How can you not know that when you both live here? Don't really follow her comings and goings. Just see her typing on her computer now and then. We've got different interests. So you've got nothing else to tell me? How she looks, what she does, who is she? What if she's the, um... What if she's that trucker that we've heard about, right? The lorry driver that we're looking for with a peculiar colored hair. Hmm. I can't remember if there were any details on how that person dressed, though. I'm not sure. I'm afraid not, S.A. You just have to wait until she comes back, or... He shrugs. Reaction speed, easy success. Or search through her radio computer. Okay, then. Thanks. Leave. See ya, crab man. 
Dude, we just know a crab man now. Cool. <laughs> Lieutenant, what do you make of that? We're friends with a crab man. He seems kind of cool. A cracked pane of glass. Colorful. I like the crab man. He's very friendly. All right, what's over here? Oh. Mace Banger's Silk Scarf. It gives us plus one pain threshold. Oh, it was hanging on one of the supports. Okay. Some glass here. All right. Mesk Banger's Silk Scarf. Plus one threshold, or pain threshold. Bangers? Don't cry. This huge red scarf is dusty from lying in the church. A subtle red-on-red -red embroidery embellishes it with cocky roosters and mask floral motives. Where does it go? Oh, my neck. Wow, holy shit, what a look. Jeez, okay. Oh, let's put that back on now. Okay, let's see over here. Frost has drawn flowers on the glass, obscuring the view. Odorix? A figure drawn in frost on the window, depicting a deer. Huh. What a cool-ass place, huh? Dude, I love that all the supports have, like, the carvings in them. Crabman, did you do this? Did you carve these up? I like it. All right. Well, holy shit. You know what? Actually, this is a great stopping point because we'll probably get sucked into a bunch of shit when we investigate that radio computer. But holy shit, this place is wild. It's so like a true RPG, right? It's so much bigger on the inside, <laughs> right? The uh, exterior was like a rough representation of what awaited us. Holy shit. It is amazing, right? And I guess it's going to be a future dance club, right? Fuck me. How wild. All right. Until next time. Please take care of each other.